Brooklyn is referred to as the borough of churches, and that's not inaccurate, but I refer to it as the borough of players because the most good players coming out of New York City have really, they've, they've come from Brooklyn. I'm Konchowski. I publish a newsletter evaluating high school basketball players in the East, but more so I'm an unregenerate hoop junkie who's followed high school basketball in New York City since 1958. And it's quite appropriate that we start here outside the Barclays Center because professional basketball has come to Brooklyn. Brooklyn Nets basketball, it's officially underway at the Barclays Center. Oh, oh. When I was growing up in the late 50s and the early 60s, the general wisdom said that Brooklyn had jump shooters, whereas kids growing up in Harlem took the ball to the basket. I don't think the lines of demarcation are th that finely drawn today. I think in general, most kids who play inner city basketball take the ball to the basket. That or fire up indiscriminately three-pointers. But uh, Brooklyn, their kids were always seemed to be a little tougher than the players in the other boroughs. Here at Abraham Lincoln High School in Coney Island, we're standing outside the gym waiting the scrimmage between Abraham Lincoln Rail Splitters and the Ravens of St. Raymond's. Abraham Lincoln has a junior by the name of Isaiah Whitehead, who is the latest in a long list of Rail Splitter luminaries. You had the Marberries, then you had the Telfairs, and then you had Lance Stevenson, and now Isaiah Whitehead is just the, the latest. There are so many neighborhoods that have contributed to the, the lore of Brooklyn basketball. First of all, Bedford Stuyvesant, I would put Connie Hawkins, and I would put Lenny Wilkins, probably as the greatest players to come out of Bedford Stuyvesant. Out of Brownsville, I would probably say Tony Jackson would be up there. Lloyd World Be Free would be up there. Fly Williams would be up there. When you look at Flatbush, uh, Chris Mullen, I'd say maybe Mike Dunleavy. Fort Greene certainly would be the King Brothers, Bernard and Albert. We're standing in front of 79 North Oxford Walk in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, the home of the first family of Brooklyn Hoops, the King family. The most famous of the Kings, Bernard, came out of Fort Hamilton in 1974, high school All-American, three-time college All-American at Tennessee, NBA All-Star with the Knicks, the Nets, and various other teams. Now Bernard King looking for his 60th point. 60 for Bernard King. Bernard King certainly was a great pro, should be in the Naismith Hall of Fame, should have been named one of the 50 greatest when the NBA picked their team in 1996 or 97. Uh, but he's really one of the greatest players ever to come out of New York. Albert was probably the most heralded member of the high school class nationally of 77, even over Irvin Magic Johnson, and went on to a very fine career at, at University of Maryland and a good NBA career. Tough shot. Oh, boy, Albert King. In Brooklyn, there are more players than oxygen. And New York City may be the capital of the world, but Brooklyn certainly is the basketball capital of New York City. 